Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom chest loop pull in Fortnite Creative with event banding. Let's get into this. So the first device you want to pick out is the tracker device and you want to copy these settings that I'm going to put in now. So the first setting that you want to put in is stats of track and you're going to set this to containers opened. Next you're going to put target value to 1 since you're opening in one chest you don't want to open 2. Then you want to go scroll down until you find when target is reached and then you're going to put that on and do nothing. Because if you do set this to complete tracker, then it might not work. Then you're going to scroll down until you see show on HUD and put it on no because you don't want to see it on your HUD. Then you're going to change this setting to no also. And then you want to turn off play eliminations count because you don't want to play an elimination count to the tracker. And now you're done with the tracker. The next device you want to place down is the item granter. Now follow these settings. So when we go down to on grant action, you're going to turn this to keep all because you don't want your inventory to be reset. I'm going to scroll down to cycle behavior and put it on wrap. Then you're going to go down to drop items at player location and you want to put this at yes. And then you want to put to ownership of dropped item and I put it at all because if you if someone if someone opens a chest then everyone can get it. So if there's a race to the chest and the person that opened it. Now you're done with this device. Now what you're going to do is you're going to copy this twice and each of these are going to be for different things. So this first one's going to be for guns, second one is for the consumables and the last one is for materials. So you want to drop all of your guns in, I'm just going to spam random ones in because I've done this many times. So there you go, that's for the guns, let's drop in the consumables. I'm dropping all the consumables in now. And for the materials one you want to drop in 30 of each material. So, so what I'm doing is going to put 30 of each material in but I'm just going to put uh, loads of different ones in. So. I would usually put 30 materials in, but you can do what you want. Uh, if you've got many devices to do maps, it might be a little bit easier if you just change the name of them. So I'm not going to do it in this tutorial, but if you want to, you can click rename, and then you want to type in how much you, uh, you know, you're going to type in what device called. I would put like gun device, um, gun, gun loophole, uh, consumable loophole, and uh, materials loophole. So you want to go back into the tracker device. I'm just going to go to the events tab and go when it says on complete sent event two. You're gonna pick select device, and you're gonna put all of the, you've got all of these devices. Uh, you're gonna put in each of these, send function to, and then you're gonna put cycle to random item. And then you're gonna do for the, each of these. So you're gonna do item gun two. You're gonna put select to, um, cycle to random item. You're gonna do for each of the loop pools, and then once you're done, you're gonna have a working loop pool in Fortnite. So the last thing you have to do is you're going to go into the consumables tab and you're going to put in something that you don't use in the map so my map is not going to use bacon so you're going to make a chest and create a chest if you're lucky enough you might have the unreleased version where you have nothing in the chest but i do have it but i'm not going to use it in this uh, tutorial when you've done all the settings you can now open your chest freely and you'll get all your items from the chest including the bacon but there's a way to get rid of it using the item remover now if you want to remove the bacon from the chest you're going to go into your devices and you're going to find the item remover so once you've got your item remover down you're going to go into the settings and you're going to follow these settings so you want to put to you want to put a mod to remove to 100% scroll down more until you find apply to you're going to put it on all players and last setting is play audio to no then you're going to go into your devices and you're going to find a timer device it don't have to be the expensive one because it costs a little bit more memory but if you place this one down it's a bit cheaper once you're in the settings you're going to turn duration to one second and you put auto stat to on then you're going to turn show trigger to off loop in to yes you're going to turn lamp audio to off so you want to go into your timer device and go into the, this setting where it says on complete send event to and you're going to select device and you're going to put on to the item remover and then click select function and it's going to be remove and now you can just drop in the bacon into the item remover and it should work perfectly fine with the bacon not being removed with all the bacon being removed. You can drop in the bacon. I want to test that the bacon gets removed. You can clearly see that the bacon gets removed very very quickly. So it will still on the floor, but until you when you pick it up, the bacon will be gone straight away. So there's gonna be no bacon in your inventory. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if you want to, use code BINGYBANGS in the Fortnite item shop, which helps me out a lot.